the rule of law must prevail. Tolumbo Support Group attacks EFCC over Yaya Bello. A member of the Nigerian Ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, have voiced concerns over handling financial crime investigation by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, particularly regarding the treatment of former Kogi Governor Yaya Bello. These remarks were made during a press conference during the press briefing on Friday, April 26, 2024, in Abuja by Jesu Tega Onapasa, a lawyer and the head of the Terrible Media Support Group. Addressing the media, Onapasa criticized the EFCC's approach, particularly its method of summoning individuals for questioning, which he claimed by past formal procedures. The rule of law must always prevail because without the law, we will not have a society and without court, we will not have civilization, he stated, emphasizing the importance of following established legal processes to maintain public trust and legal integrity. Onapasa highlighted a recent incident involving former Governor Bello, who was reportedly invited for questioning via a telephone call rather than a formal reading notice. There is a procedure in law for inviting a person of interest, which is by a formal written letter to invite such persons, which could be followed by a telephone call. He explains, suggesting that such an approach undermines the legal rights of the individual and the credibility of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. He further criticized the EFCC for lacking substantial evidence when accusing the current Kogi governor, Ahmed Usman, current governor ah Ahmed Usman of aiding his predecessor in evading custody. Describing this allegation as absurd, Onapasa called for respect towards the presidency and its corruption effort. I can assure you that President Bola Tenembu is hell-bent on fighting corruption. We must all respect him and key into the struggle he affirmed. The APC's, APC chief team remarks reflect green concern within the ruling party about the potential misuse of government, as, of government agencies as tools of intimidation rather than instruments of justice. Onapasa urged the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to adhere strictly to the legal norms to prevent governmental abuse and safeguard the reputation of Nigerian's institution. Now this is in the go on. Now this is in the go on. Are you from Kogi State? These are the category of politicians that are frustrating our government system in Nigeria because of their selfishness. It's the judiciary modern conscience that is why this thief always be free after everything. Look at what this man that called himself a lawyer is speaking. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission do not make his less to him and do your work. Shagoni, okay, Shagoni, Bola Turumbu hand over. Okay, Shagoni, should Bola Turumbu hand over to your father? Uh uh, never wish like that now. Eh? Who among these politicians is not corrupt? It has become an acceptable way of life among them. They have collapsed the country. The EFCC boy should also resign now before these corrupt politicians rubbish him. No honest man can prove through these corrupt politicians. They are one and the same. The APC does not see anything wrong in the country of here below. Now, about how am I going to put it? About this particular issue, I am actually appalled that they actually invited Yayabel over a phone call. Let me so now. We are going to use his written. You go write and that you go write and say you call this person for phone. Let it be written that. You actually called the person on phone. Now, so you suppose be before you now try to, you know, okay, this thing where you. Do you understand? Shagoni should bother to know. Okay, I think I've said that before. Who among the politicians? I've said that before. See how the youths are embarrassing themselves over Bello with all these criminal acts of his, and they're still supporting him. Now, Nigeria we did now. God will punish all these bad people soon. I think by reading what Mr. Onapasa wrote, Mr. Onapasa, sir, hasn't risen to watch his ex excellency.
the governor did while in office. Many civil servants, many civil servants died without salary. The results are showing why run. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission doesn't doesn't matter. They ask questions. Justice, okay, Joseph here has restated the position of a party. No matter how grave your corruption index may be, join the All Progressive Congress and your sin will be forgiven. Apology to Adam Sushomali. <laughs> oh my goodness. We didn't Anakosa be careful, otherwise he could be a hit with person. That rule of law is what Bello have broken, even while considering him the innocent and the proven guilty, still as a principal suspect in the, a high profile case of multiple billions of Naira. The consequences of the losing of that money, in part, is responsible for the underdevelopment and so many lives lost in the state. Honorable invitation, invitation by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission cannot even come through. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission still extended the tranquil invitation with options, still bellow failed. It's hell-bent on fighting corruption how has the fight been since he took over? Indeed. He's bent on fighting corruption. How has the fight been since he took over? Mr. Collaborator asked your man to go and answer the EFSS call. This is the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians. No recognition of any group associated with fraud. They should all they should all in that they should all in that group answer explain their parts in the fraud. They know how much and the reason they cry more than the bereaved the reason why bello is acting like this is because delegation had hidden agenda part of mismanagement of fund if you watch this game to the end you realize that you're just wasting your time supporting bello or supporting the EFC. i'm not supporting anybody all right then spoke Jesus again, and saying unto them, I am the light of the world. He that followed me shall not walk in darkness, but shall leave, but shall have the light forever. I have known this guy to be a lion and a truthful fellow, Abba. Yeah, all lions have their part in hell, as well as those who support them. We all know that positive answer will not come al alive. Okorocho has seen victims before, but now he's dining with senators in Aso Villa. The Yabelo has turned Kogistis to money making machine for jobless and fraudulent individuals and groups in the name of your Yabelo and the criminal should be ashamed and remorseful for once. A thief that should bury his head in shame is still the same, he's still using the looted state will not stop EFCC from arresting your Yabelo and his to account for their rules in the crime. Alright, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for. Turn into listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest.